Hello, I'm Martin Delaney, and today we're looking at an easy way to sync two computers that are running Ableton Live without getting into any hassles about MIDI clock. It's not technically syncing because it doesn't use MIDI clock or any timecode. It's just an easy way to get them to start playing at the same time. It's very low tech, but it might get you out of the hole sometime. The nearest computer to the camera has drum and percussion tracks. The furthest computer from the camera has bass and synth tracks. Let's have a look at the hardware setup. MIDI is going from computer A via USB to the Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 and out from that via the blue Eduroll MIDI to USB cable into computer B. There's no Wi-Fi, no networking, no MIDI cables. On computer A, launch the live set containing the parts you want to play on that computer. Go into preferences using command comma and then the MIDI sync tab. Make sure all the sync switches are off, then enable MIDI track out. You can close preferences after that. Create a new MIDI track and choose your MIDI interface as an output in the in out view. Create a MIDI clip with a C minus two notes in it or any other note that's in a range you think you won't use. Make sure looping is off for this clip also. Then let's go to computer B, go into preferences again and this time enable MIDI remote in. Close preferences. Then you can enter MIDI map mode using command M. Click at the top right on your top session view scene, then go back to computer A. Launch a new MIDI clip on computer A and you'll see that MIDI note C-2 has now been mapped to the top scene launch button on computer B. You should see the MIDI channel number and the note number appearing now. Exit MIDI map mode. So now whenever you launch that scene or clip on computer A, computer B will start playing. Now whenever you launch that scene on computer A, computer B will start playing. Make sure they're both set to the same project tempo or assign a specific tempo to the scenes so BPM changes on both computers as you play through the set. You can continue to jam freely on both computers or use a lot of MIDI assignments with scenes to keep it locked down. This is definitely a cheat, not a sync solution because it doesn't involve sending or receiving any MIDI or other kinds of sync at all. You could also attach audio cables between the two computers and send the audio between them if you want to process the audio coming out of one computer or if you want all of the track outputs to come out of one sound card. If you start two computers this way, they will drift over time. On mine, it gets noticeable over around five minutes or so. If you're using them for something longer, you'll have to build in some sneaky stops and starts. It's all very rough and ready, but like I said at the beginning, it might help you out sometime. It's one step up from hitting both space bars at the same time, really. A friend of mine who works this way calls it the gangster sync setup, and it is. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.